Hello everybody, welcome to the I Am IT YouTube channel. My name is Shabazz Dan, as ever, I am the IT Geek. Welcome back to another Windows 365 uh, Security and Compliance episode. Um, so this is very much a deep dive into how to protect your Windows 365 Cloud PC. So obviously it's it's a it's host, obviously it's a VDI, right? And, and I've done content on AVD and the integrations of security platform there. So I thought it'd be quite pertinent to do, because this is a SaaS product, right? Windows 65 is SaaS rather than IaaS and PaaS. So the, the way we protect it is a little bit different. Uh, today I actually want to focus on, on cloud apps. Um, so the integration with Microsoft Trade of Cloud Apps. So we jump into the portal. Um, we've got cloud apps here. Now to actually, to actually turn this on before before we actually start, so you'll probably only need to do this. You need to go within Microsoft Trend or XDR, go down to settings, go to endpoints, and then go to, uh, in advanced features. You'll see, and now mine should be turned on already. Otherwise, uh, yeah, there you go. Microsoft Trend of Cloud Apps. Make sure that's turned to on. If it's not, make sure you toggle it on, right? And then save preferences. So what that's going to allow us to do is now is to what I want to do is create a session control policy, um, or, or better yet, apply real time session control, and you do that via conditional access policies. So um, I've already created one. So we're in Entra now. I'm going to the going to policies, um, and this is what I've created here. So essentially, with this policy, call it what you want. Specify the user. I specified in my case Bruce Wayne, who's my Windows 365 user. Um, and then the target resources, I've done Office 365, so this includes anything within Office 365, so Microsoft Forms, Microsoft Teams, Office 365 Exchange Online, SharePoint Online, etc., Yammer, stuff like that. The Client Admin, I've done oh, OneDrive as well, okay? Um, so it's so giving me a warning there, that'll also affect the Teams and Planner and stuff like that. Now, the important thing is, so the condition I've just put um, from, from a device perspective, uh, any device, and I've to put some exclusions in there as well. Um, but the important thing is the session control that we need to do. Uh, and what you need to select is use conditional ask, access app control. I've got it in monitor only, but you can block downloads as well, right? You block downloads, you can use a custom policy. Um, but that'll need to be configured. So then you'd go into the cloud app portal, um, and then you'd be able to do that. But I've, I've just done monitor only for now, right? I just want to show it and, and be able to monitor it. I don't want to block anything. Um, and then again, I've turned mine on. Now, once we've turned that on, we can start to actually use um, Defender of Cloud Apps. And if we go into Cloud Discovery, first of all, actually, I'll go into Cloud App Catalog first, because it's going to show the fact that, look, if you, if you look, um, SharePoint Online. So what's happened is um, Microsoft Defender for Cloud Apps has seen that that conditional access policy is in place. And it's brought this little blue icon next to the, the apps that I'm protecting. So SharePoint Online, OneDrive for Business, there's Exchange Online, Dynamics 365 is an unsanctioned app apparently, but that's nothing to do with my policy. Uh, Copilot, Windows, Microsoft 365. So straight away, we can see that the, the Defender for Cloud Apps um, can see that policy and it's integrated with it. Now, the other thing you can do as well for Windows 365 is look at the Cloud Discovery. Um, and from there, you can actually look uh, specifically at devices and users. So if we go to devices here, um, we should see the, yeah, there you go. There's my Windows 365. Uh, so this is the, the Bruce device, right? This is my Windows 365 device for Bruce. And straight away, we can we can view this in Defender for Endpoint. Or we can look an overview here and look at discovered apps, right? Um, and again, it's going to give us a bit of a, you can do a policy search as well, but it's going to give us a bit of an overview of the sanctioned apps um, and the unsanctioned apps. Um, so you can see these are all sanctioned apps because they're part of my policy on the protected apps. You can actually go to user history and this will tell me what, what's Bruce been accessing. Has he been accessing any unsanctioned apps, any any apps it shouldn't be accessing? Um, so again, very, very powerful sort of to be able to see this and kind of stop shadow IT when it comes to app, you know, app deployment. Um, and then IP address history, which is not really relevant to the cloud apps discussion. Um, so again, and you can take that one step further as well by actually creating um, policies to do with, um, you know, controlling apps within Windows 365 uh, and Cloud PC as well, right? Um, and then you can use all this to fully integrate to Defender for Endpoint as well. Um, but if we go to Policy Management, you know, we've got Shadow IT policies here. So we could technically create, we've got to create policy. 
We can do an app discovery policy here. Um, we're not selecting a template in this case. We can do different templates if we want. Give it a name because um, so this is this is because it's cloud discovery. The the cat categories grayed out already. And then look, you can basically select a filter here to so apps matching all of the following. You can add a filter, and then you want to apply to what your specific continuous reports or all continuous reports. Then you got a bit about uh, alerts. And then specific governed actions that you want to do. Can you, you want to tag an app as sanctioned? You want to tag as unsanctioned, etc. So again, it allows you to to protect against shadow IT with Windows 365 um, deployments that you do. Uh, so yeah, again, just wanted to quickly show some integration with with a, another really cool sort of feature within Defender XDR. Um, and again, I've still got some more episodes I'm going to be doing. I want to do some integration with Identity Defender for Identity. Um, and some more stuff about purview as well and some some compliance and secure configuration in Windows 365 as well. Um, so I've doing I'm doing quite a bit at the moment when it comes to YouTube. I'm doing um Nerdy on Wednesday and you're gonna start seeing some videos of me out and about. Um, so I won't be always at my desk, I'm actually gonna be doing some videos some, on some different non-techie topics. So I've got some content coming about um, my YouTube story. Let's let's just put it as my YouTube story, right? Um, how I started and and yeah, when I'm having conversations like events and stuff like that, um, people who know my content and know about my channel, obviously they see the success it's had and they, they kind of ask me, oh, what's your secret? And there is no real secret. There is no secret, right? It's just I've found um, something that works for me. I've found methods and ways. I've done a lot of research. So in that series that I'm going to be doing, which I'll be out and about, you know, I'll be, I won't be at my desk. Uh, I'll be talking about that. Um, so yeah, hopefully you'll enjoy that. Give you a bit of perspective of how I started and and how I what I do when I'm, when I'm my mindset about my towards my YouTube. Uh, so anyway, I'll put some useful links in the description. A link to my uh, members area where you can get access to my Microsoft content, my Microsoft Cloud exam content, certification content specifically. There's three different levels, and you get access to fundamentals, associate, and expert level exams. Lots more coming, especially next year. I'm going to release a lot more exam content, especially at the start of the year. Have a big push. Um, so yeah, I'm really looking forward to that. Uh, also, link, uh, connect again, you know, connect to me on LinkedIn as well. So thank you for watching. Until next time, goodbye.